Good morrow, Wolfpack, and welcome back to another Brain Freeze Debates. So, to pay homage to the new movie, Batman v Superman, we will be doing Batman versus Superman. So guys, who are you? Who are you defending? Hi. My name is George, and I'll be defending Batman. My name, Camilo, and I'll be Superman. Oh, Sucio. <laughs> this is Superman's better. <laughs> you can feel we'll we'll the tension between the two. Yeah. So, here's how it's going to play out. The first round is going to be 60 seconds. And Camilo shall be going first. Alright. 60 seconds. Starting. Now. Alright. Well, first off, Superman is better. He's superhuman, he has powers. What does Batman got? A suit and some skills? Oh, yeah, I can do some kung fu. <laughs> Not kung fu, but you get it. Alright. And he has superpowers, he has x ray vision, he has, he can like do laser power through his eyes, he can do breathe pretty much ice or fire. He can fly, he can speed fast, what? He can just punch Batman without him even knowing it. Just come at him, bam, punch, and he wouldn't even know he's going to have him. Superman is just, he will, he will dominate Batman. <laughs> he will rape him. <laughs> in bed. The Batman has no chance against Superman. At all. Nothing. You'll be begging to, not, to, to, to stay alive. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yes. You see, you laugh because it's true. Time. Are you ready? Yes, I am. 60 seconds. Starting now. Swear to me! No. Batman. There's been more renditions of Batman. There's been way more different Batmans than there have been Supermans in the movies. And Batman has, uh, in the comics and in, in uh, the newest ones, have been, has been trained by the League of Shadows or League of Assassins, whatever they went with. And you know what? Batman is more of a fan favorite because you know what? Ask anyone, what do you like better, Superman or Batman? They'll all be Batman because Batman is badass. He's actually cool. He's, he's not so generic, okay? It's because Superman was maybe like the first one but then DC went in like a really interesting direction and made Batman this guy who's like his parents died and made made him an orphan and then it made him like the super cool hero that we wish and yes he does may so what he's not superhuman you don't have to be because he's way more interesting than Superman ever will be and do I have to remind everyone in the animated movie is Batman be Superman Batman beats Superman so I don't know I found it so comedic that you thought Superman is actually gonna actually beat Batman in a fight because that hasn't been true that time in, in particular. And I don't know how many times they fought, so that's the only time I know. 60 seconds. Am I done? Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> so, now we've come to the second round. The second round is the actual brain freeze round. So. Camilo, you know what to do. No, right? 60 seconds starting now. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, God, the brain freeze. All right. <coughs> First of all, Superman, you say, oh, Batman, he, he has cool because, you know, he, his parents died. Superman's parents died too. So what? And he doesn't complain about it and cry about it every time somebody mentions it. <laughs> All right, yeah, he's so bar about it. Okay, god damn it. And then you say, Oh, Batman won last time in the animated series. I watched that one too, but guess what? Batman, if he's flying full speed, like he, 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 like he can, way much faster, he can just fly and punch you, and then you're like, You're done. You won't even see it coming at all. Also, he can stand 50 feet away. What are you gonna do? Throw some boomerangs at him? You're gonna, they're gonna, he's gonna use his laser eye vision. Fucking melt your ass while you're standing there helpless. Nothing to do. Kid, you have no chance of putting a Superman. 60 seconds. Oh. You know what to do? Yep. 60 seconds starting now. Oh. 
Mm. Ah, always that noise has to be made every time. <laughs> That's why I have a brain freeze. Yeah. <laughs> um, so Batman, everyone's looking forward to Batman in this next upcoming movie because you know why? Because Batman is back. One of the best superhero movies that I've ever been was The Dark Knight, and that is a Batman movie. I mean, who's does anyone actually have a favorite Superman movie? They haven't been good at all. And you say that Batman cries every time his parents mention it, but look at Man of Steel, the newest Superman movie. You see Clark Kent crying all the time. And by the way, he's trying to hide his identity, but what with what? With, with glasses? Maybe a hat? No. He can't hide his identity like this. Like, oh, how did you know? It's like, dude, there's you don't wear a mask or anything like Batman, so it's like... He can't keep a good identity, he's just not like, just a generic superhero, and Batman is just way cooler, I mean... A minute. Way more people favor him. <clears throat> it was a very heated second round. <laughs> so, this draws us to our third and final round of the evening. <sighs> round three. The treacherous 92nd round. They will be going back and forth at this. A battle of their wills. A testament to their heroes. Are you guys ready? Yes. 90 seconds. Starting this free-for-all. Now. Alright. You say, Superman hasn't had a good movie. Okay. Man of Steel, awesome movie. Okay, you might say in 2006, might have stuck, whatever. But, we gotta give him a chance. He hasn't had a good movie, because blame the people who have written the movie. He's a good-ass fucking superhero. No, I blame the comics because there's nothing actually good to bring. And besides, you know who has better villains? Batman. Who does Superman have? Lex Luthor, Doomsday. Oh, wait, they're being in the new movie. Oh, wait, they don't look good in the trailer. So I don't trust them at all because of what Superman has. What does my villains have to do with it? If I'm a good superhero or not. If Superman is a super person. He's superhuman. He will beat you no matter what. It's just the creators of the movie have to make it good enough to be able to make it beat you. A better hero depends on who his villains are. If it's a wuss, then obviously you can beat the wuss and not that much of a hero. And Doomsday can kill Superman, by the way. So, he doesn't sound like a good hero to me, dude. Like, you can't die. You, you're, you're... Who's no killed me? Who's killed Batman? Tell me. <laughs> I don't know. No. <laughs> You can die though, you're a human. And, and if a Superman, don't heal like he doesn't kill. If he wanted to, he'll kill you. Like you know, that. do I have to remind everyone we almost got a Nicolas Cage Superman movie? Like, what? What? What joke of an actor have we had with Batman? <laughs> no one! No one! Michael Keaton! Christopher Nolan! No, seconds. director. Christian Bale! 90 seconds! 90 seconds! You only got it! <laughs> Sorry! Sorry! <laughs> <laughs> scared me, dude. <laughs> so, that was our third and final round. How can you act so calm after that? <laughs> <laughs> the cake is alive. That was our third and final round of the evening. Now comes the difficult task. <laughs> Of deciding so what can I say all right personally I have enjoyed this new <laughs> Superman a lot I have there's a lot more action than there typically is in a Superman movie I'm not I'm not old enough to know all of the like 19 like 80s and 90s Superman's but in the recent Supermans, the ones that I have seen, there's been a lot more action. He doesn't turn back time, which is great, because that is so cheap. He doesn't turn back time. <laughs> um, he hasn't used all of his powers yet, but the ones he has used, they look really nice. I don't like his emotionality, but I did like what you said. Like, he, he's Superman. As emotional as he is, he's Superman, and he'll punch you at the speed of sound or light, depending on how he's feeling that day, and you won't see it coming. But on the other hand, we have Batman. Batman is everyone's fan favorite because, you know, girls like a bad boy. It's, it's a proven fact. And Superman is a goody two-shoes. 
Batman is more relatable to us because he's a normal person besides him being a multi-billionaire who is a black belt and a master of like every martial art under the sun and he has anyways so he's very relatable to us and his combat abilities as well as Superman's greatest weakness being kryptonite which is the dumbest thing on earth because it's not even on earth <sighs> anyways I like what George said about Batman you know being Batman and there hasn't been a bad Batman there's been okay Batmans but there hasn't been a bad Batman there have been plenty of bad Superman and we're only now getting some recognition for who Superman really can be so even though I personally like Superman better I have to go for Batman just because just because you need tissue there is <laughs> a new someone get a tissue so <laughs> just because there is a new actor for Batman and I feel I have to give him a chance before I shoot him down. That's my only reasoning. Only reasoning I can get. Superman's better though. In a fight, Superman would win. I'm sorry. I'm not, like, without exploiting the overly cheap kryptonite, Superman would probably win. Unless there was Hell or some blah blah blah. The other ways he's lost in comics. But he's also won in comics. So, I mean, it's a trade-off. Okay. So, thank you for watching. Please like and comment and subscribe to become part of the wolf pack all right guys i don't have my watch on but i think it's about time <laughs> is it time i think it's I think time it is all right it's time it's for these little wolves to roll, roll out, out. oh <laughs> Do you bleed? You will. That's a good debate. That was a good debate. I like that. Yeah. That was our most heated one. <laughs> <laughs> and it wasn't even prepared either. You know, right? It was, I liked it, but I...